Hello and what's up Madlang people So um, this video is a response uh, to a question or a request um, about how to record uh, a band um, what are the gear uh, or equipment to use so my simple solution to that is the recently purchased um, Behringer U control uh, UCA222 um, because not only this is a cheap solution but it comes with a recording software so when you purchase this one uh, there's an instruction there on the manual that you can download the recording software uh, I think you just need to go to Behringer.com I think then there's a tab that says download so all you need to do is to search this UCA222 and then in the Behringer website there's a tab that says download and in that download it says um, audio software I think something like that and you click it download it and it's audacity and it's a complete or full version of audacity it's got a cd key so just install that in your laptop or your computer and then you you got the hardware you got the software and you're ready to record um the additional thing that you needed will be the mixer so as an example uh, I'll show to you my mixer which is the Behringer Senex 1002FX I've uh, demoed this, reviewed this uh, it's included in some of my videos or recently posted videos paired with my um, UCA222 so we will be focusing here because this is where the magic is coming from the UCA222 is your interface or sound card and then from there it will be recorded on your laptop okay so that's the simple trick there you've got the recording software you've got the audio interface USB audio interface and you get the mixer now to connect the two you need an RCA cable this one like a phono cable and then plug it in to the out that one there on top that's your RCA out so meaning the sound from your mixer comes out goes to your audio interface which is your B, uh, Behringer UCA222 and in there, I've, I've demoed this already, but anyway, just to re-emphasize, it says input, so that's where you be plugging it in. So, red to red, white to white, and that's it. Um, if you're not sure on how to use this one, uh, I've already demoed it. Um, it's plug and play, so just plug this USB to your laptop. And it, the LED light will um, indicate that it's on. You got the volume control. You got the headset here for monitor. But I suggest that you also buy this one. If you're a band, to buy this uh, micro amp um, HA400. So Behringer HA400 uh, mini mixer for headset because as a band sometimes one of your mates wanted it louder or the other one wants it lower so you can all adjust your volume on your monitor on your headset but that's the main purpose of this one um, I've also demoed this is included in some of my videos but to re-emphasize I bought this separately it's just a jack uh, converter for your headset so that it would be uh, one quarter stereo uh, adapter for your headset and then there's input here 
I bought a separate cable for that, a stereo cable. Here it is. So input and then from your mixer you need to plug the other end on the phones out plug this one that's it so that it will be sent to this one input here and then phones out over here so that it will be distributed to all the band members that's for your monitor another thing that you will be needing is a condenser microphone this is quite cheap you can buy this online if you got a shop nearby look for a condenser microphone because this one you can record the drums using just one microphone just put this in between the snare and the hi-hat facing that way because that's where the uh, diaphragm of your microphone or the other one that's really a good spot for this is on top of the bass drum in between the two toms where there's like a an exhaust like a hole you can put this one over there i think the best way probably is from floor tom put your microphone stand and then this one because this is where the diaphragm is facing your snare and a bit of hi-hat if that makes sense uh, just find a way that this is normally close to the three the bass drum snare and hi-hat but it's directional so if you put this on top of the bass drum facing the snare and hi-hat that's good if you put this through uh, the side of floor tom then sort of facing again those three that's fine as long as it's not in the way when you're playing your drums one microphone another purpose of this one is for your vocalist so if you decide to record the vocals separately record the vocals later then this is good you don't need to worry about the guitar because um, even though you're not going to be using your amp your mixer especially this one the Behringer mixer it's got a preamp it's a boutique uh, preamp so if I use the remaining uh, it's over here it's stereo so you can also decide a stereo guitar if you got two guitarists one is on the left side one is on the right side or make use of all the mono uh, inputs here so left is intended for mono so guitar and bass and then probably keyboards stereo or you can put here another guitarist or you can just decide which one which channel and there's individual controls there the red one is for the effects um, I've demoed this one so if you're not familiar just search for a demo or review of this Cenex um, mixer but that's the idea probably here for your microphone for the vocalist here for the drums and then you got your um, input for the guitar or keyboards or bass right um, that way you can record live recording and you can have it as like a demo recording raw recording of the band um, I hope that makes sense you can also record one at a time it's up to you because audacity you can record some of the first track is for your drum second is your guitar or bass and so on and so forth and then the vocals last um, okay the other bit is if you decide to just record the band playing instead of just using your phone you wanted a better quality recording so use this setup again but this time your iphone or your ipad you need to buy this it's a lightning to usb there you go and the exact one this is um, you can buy this at the apple store because the other uh, 
the fake one might not work there's a risk that it might not work so buy the original one and because this is USB and this is lightning it goes to your iPhone or iPad then you connect the Behringer this one USB UCA222 and then connect to your iPad and the same setup everything is the same so that it will the sound from your mixer will be uh, feed to your Behringer UCA222 audio interface that goes to your iPad or um, iPhone via the lightning to USB 3 um, converter or adapter and then you can open the camera and start recording the band and that will make it a more decent uh, audio quality with the video so I hope that helps and see you again for another video. Bye for now. Ciao.